as an introduction to Moodle, I'll just show you setting up a basic page from absolute scratch. This is what you see when you first get your first page in Moodle, uh, all the way to something that's actually vaguely useful. Uh, we're going to turn editing on to begin with and then make some changes. The first change I'm going to make is to hide this news forum. It's pretty useless, but you can't delete it, so we just hide it. The students can no longer see it. We then are going to look at these sections. Now, uh, each section currently is called Section 1, Section 2, whatever. I'm actually going to name those rel relevantly to the course that this is. This is kind of my general studies course, I think. So I'm going to call this one um, Generals in History. So I unticked the use default section name and changed that. Save changes. Lovely. Let's just do this one while I'm here. This one's going to be General Hospital. And we'll also do General Terms. That should be enough. Get the point across anyway. Save changes. So I've got those three sections. I've also got a whole bunch of other sections that I don't want here. So I'm just going to go into the settings for the page and tweak a couple of little aspects. So we don't see these blank sections for one. And also, I don't like this green border very much and some other things. So let's just go into edit settings and uh, just go down to the course format. And it was three sections that I have. And I like to change this here to a nice white color which is actually FF, FF, FF and I don't like the activity notifications that should do. If it's an old course you might just want to check that this is set to the site upload limit, the files and upload. Some of them might be still set to 2 megabytes and that's really annoying. So that's a bit better, we don't have the green thing, we've only got these three sections now, or as many as you want, you can change that another time. Um, the course still looks a bit messy because we've got these things over on the right, upcoming events, recent activity and so on. Let's just delete those because no one really looks at those um, on your course pages. They might be useful somewhere else. They're not much use here. So delete this one as well. Right, so if I just turn editing off we'll see what that looks like. Much nicer. And another thing that I'm just going to do, general, that's very confusing, isn't it? I'm going to move this section into grid. I find it's just a bit of a cleaner look if we have everything right at the top, just like this. Good. So let's start actually. Uh, oh, we're still in the setup, so I'm just going to go into some aspects of this. I'm going to change the image that I'm using here. And uh, I have a folder with images, so I just went to Google Image Search and grabbed some stuff. And let's just get um, general history. That's probably the wrong one, actually. That should be in the other section. Yeah, it should be, shouldn't it? General history, we'll put in there instead. So changes, uh, general hospital. It's pretty easy if you've got the folder. You know, save the file to your computer somewhere into a folder from Google Image Search and it um, really doesn't take long to get this in place. That'll do. Oh, I can't bear the idea of having two pictures the same there so we'll just put a uh, general rating. Good. Right. The next thing I'm going to do is to put some content in place. So this general section, uh, this is kind of like the course information section perhaps, or, or just general files that don't fit into any particular topic. Um, I've got course information, drag it, drop it. And um, I could also drag across a, a picture of general pattern for generals. It actually asked me do I want to create it as a file so it can be just clicked on and downloaded like the other ones or add the image. I'm going to just add that image so that's actually in line now and um, I could also add an activity perhaps um, 
generals in history activity just drag that in place oh, I've put it in the wrong place look at that so I'll drag it down generals in history very easy to move things around you probably need to be in Chrome for this to work effectively um, so for a lot of people that that's that's the guts of it in place we've got um, the uh, resources that we want to download, we've got the course information, everything's well organized and, and if I just turn editing off you can see it looks fairly attractive and if I click on this we can see the resources and the pictures that we've put in place and all in just a couple of minutes of work really. Um, the other thing though that there's a couple of other things that people typically want to do. One, it would be putting videos in place. So say I wanted to have a video in this section here. Here's my video. Oops. Uh, that's just an error with YouTube, but um, I'll go down to share here and I'm going to find the embed link. Copy that. Now if I go back to my course, that's, that's the one, I'm going to put it into the um, into this section here, the summary of this section. So I will, if it's if you've got this button here, you click this button so you then can see this button. So you're just dropping into the HTML source and all you do is just paste that that we got from the YouTube page and you can see it's just popped up straight away. So how will that look? I'll click on that. Looks, looks okay. I could probably do a bit better design work on that, but yeah, that'll do for now. Um, so embedding a video are very straightforward. Um, say you had a, a bunch of files as well that you wanted. So I've got like uh, one, two, three, four, five different files here that I'd like to upload to this Generals in History. I can drag them one by one, but that's a bit tiresome. Um, what I'm going to do is put them into a folder. It's just neater for students to see, and it's also uh, just quicker for me to do. So I'm just going to right click, I'll highlight the whole lot, right click, and send to compressed zipped folder zipped up, uh, just called General Denning for now, and Generals in History, that's this one here, so General Denning, drag it across, ask me the question, do I want to unzip files and create a folder? Yep, I do. So what that will now look like, if I go to that Generals in History, General Denning, and there's my files all done. Um, Although it's a little bit confusing that it's called General Denning, so I can click this icon here and say General's Files, perhaps hit enter, whatever, something meaningful like that. And then the last, absolute last thing that people will find really useful that's really straightforward to do is to put an assignment in place so that students can do work and then upload it to here. And then when they've all uploaded their work individually, you can download it as one big zipped folder with all their work well named inside it. So I'm just going to say down here, add an activity and assignment. And I'm going to call the sign a general um, essay. So they have to um, so upload your essay as a single document you can put whatever instructions you like in there and uh, a due date is always a good idea because then it it, it, show, it, demonst it shows you the ones that didn't meet that due date if I say yeah and you can also set a, a cutoff date as well so if you set the same cutoff date as the due date then uh, they can't submit work after that time I find that more annoying than not frankly in the past so I tend not to enable that and all the other defaults are fine so save and return to course so the students have now got a place where they can just go in they get the instructions and they can upload oh, one last thing so I've got this general hospital and I want to put a link in place I'm just going to go grab a URL here back to my course general hospital add a resource a URL is the bottom choice, so you didn't quite see that right at the bottom. And I'm going to call this um, Wikipedia page. Where else do we get our information from? And external URL, paste it. And um, I do actually tend to put something in here because it does display to the student general hospital Wikipedia page. Save and return to course. Turn editing off. 
And that's a reasonably adequate kind of page in just less than 10 minutes.